welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the crazy family. And if you've been here, you know that you're part of the family, and I don't gotta say no more than that. Okay, if you see my face being a little like pick on, I was picking on it because this mirror right here, when I sit here and I get in this close up mirror, I start picking like crazy. Um, so that's what it is, and I also my llenita porque me paro de comer, I keep eating, eating, eating. So also that's what it is. So don't pay attention to my the watching. All right, so today's video, I'm pretty hyped. I'm so excited. I just saw this little train going on YouTube, and I wanted to jump in it. You know, let me jump in. Um, it's uh, I try following blank makeup tutorial. Basically, you pick, you know, somebody and you follow them and you recreate exactly what they do. I don't have everything that Patrick has on this video. And you may ask, why do you pick Patrick? I pick Patrick because me and him have very different style of makeup. He wears a lot of makeup. Like, put it on thick, like, MAC lip gloss. I feel like he's the full definition on that. And maybe the light definition of that, because I like the natural side. I still like a little cakey cakey, but not so thicky thick. He does. So I'm gonna retar myself. How do you say retar? Not there, it's not there. Retar, I don't know how to retar. Basically, I'm just gonna do what he does to see if I look like Patrick Star. And then the tutorial that I picked today is one of my favorite ones that he has recreated today. We gotta be recreating this look right here. He looks freaking amazing. Hopefully I look like this at the end of the, this tutorial. I look so cute! Hopefully I look, the, I just say the same at the end. I did this look, then keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Hey everyone, so first things first, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Craze Expand thing. Shelterberry. Okay, Shelterberry is, I don't have moisturizer for Shelterberry, so. I'm going to use this as my moisturizer. I always put way too much of this on, but you know Oh my gosh, you put so much on. Okay. I love that. Pause it. He puts so much moisturizer on, it's not even funny. Time Clock Lotion by MAC right here. That's the only thing that I had like that was gonna be like thick for the face, but we're gonna put a lot. Damn, Patrick put the whole thing in. That moisturizer that he put on is like $100. Well, he got money, so he can go ahead and do that. Okay, so let me. All right, then I'm sloppy. So next for the primer, I'm gonna take this new Blur Stick by Milk. I One love of my favorites. A deodorant. I will compare this to the Benefit Professional in a solid form. It's really nice. I swatched it on my hand. And Ow! I was, shook. I was like, OMG, Courtney. My hand <laughs> it's so looks stupid. So smooth. I love this stick so much. No, I, I love this primer. I feel filtered already. Primer, we got it gone. We good. Next. Hopefully I look like him too. Give me that Kim Kardashian glow. This is my favorite. I'm gonna take my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Rose Gold and apply this all over the places I want to glow. I'm just gonna blend it out with a dual fiber brush. Can you guys peep that? Okay, I have never used this for like face glow. So there's the first time for everything. He's using, uh, I think, Sunkiss. Mine is candlelight, but this is like the one that will go with my skin, I think. So we're gonna go ahead. This is what the Instagram people do. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, I'm gonna look after I finish. Okay, maybe I shouldn't put too much. But I'm following what he's doing. Okay, let's see. Glow though, oh my god. Thank you, dead. Just kidding. Now, I'm, I'm, my I'm gonna use the Dior Air Flash in color 501. Oh, I don't have Dior foundation. I never do this thing. Look what I look like right now. Patrick, what do you make me do right now? I better look like you slash Kim Kardashian. Oh my gosh, this is like a setup. <laughs> what the hell I look like? Wait, did I use the wrong brush for this? Probably I did. Okay. Okay, we look like the Imbaline right now. All right, we look a little more calm. Okay, that's good. He's using a brush. Do I need to use a brush? Okay, we're gonna use a brush. This is a bad idea, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Uh, you know what, we're following. It is a step away from your own waist. Okay? We're gonna use a brush. What brush is it using? Personally, do you guys think that the new queen is Kylie or that king? All right, all right, here we go. Maybe like a couple pumps. All right. 
I haven't used a brush to apply my foundation in a long time. And if you notice, I'm not color correcting. He's not color correcting, you know? So why should I color correct? We're following. Another layer? Okay. Oh, right. Oh, we're gonna be cake today. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna take my full coverage by MAC and my M439 by Morphe. Definitely. Chucha. He's going in with thick foundation, like the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the foundation form. Half the MAC Studio Finish um, thing that he's using, I have cover cream by Dermablend and this thing is thick. So we gonna go ahead and put that on the face. I'm gonna apply this with a booty blender because he uses says the Morphe brush and I don't have that brush. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the skin and warm it up and all that good stuff that you guys know. After blending for a good, you know, 20 minutes. Let me tuck this hair back in there. <sighs> this is how much I have left in my hand. Oh my gosh, I put so much out. We are out of my comfort zone right now, but this is good. It's good to get out of your comfort zone. Like you said, we're looking like an egg. I look more like a bagel, so it is what it is. We're going to move into concealer. This concealer, if you guys don't know, what for those of you that? that haven't been on YouTube since back then, this was like, well, I'm not saying back then like it was so long ago, but time moves quick when you want social media. True. But I'm just saying this concealer is so good. This is creaseless. And I think the title of that makes it so popular. And it's just like I never use a concealer. The Tarte Creaseless Concealer, they sent it to me when it came out. And I never touched it. Is it that good that I'm missing out on something? I'm going to go in with one of my favorites right now. And it's Color Pop in the color tan. Okay. okay, so Kim has a skinny face. So I'm not yeah. bringing my highlight all the way back okay then i'm not either wider i already have a round face came such a beautiful Me too. skinny face so i'm concentrating the highlight portion on the center of my face so if i wanted to look more cheekbone and more snatched i would bring the concealer all the way back up here yeah, but I'm for kim i want to keep it really really tight and that's so. what i normally do if i want like a snatched cheekbone for like a drag look i would go all the way back yeah i always bring it here so i'm not so not to make it bigger because my face already is bigger on my face. All right. Just like in the back of the day. Here's a little trick that I never really get to show on camera. I like to take my foundation, my Dior Air Flash, and use it as a trick. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's a good trick. My foundation. That's a good trick. Some definition. Barely show that part, but I think. Wait, I'm still applying. You're blending already. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm still applying. He put a hell look on So we're still going in there. So next to set my face, I'm gonna take my favorite derma blend loose okay and i'm still blending wait a minute immediately wait a minute derma blend loose setting powder right here i have never used this i see a lot of people that uses this they sent this to me a long time ago and i never touched it i lost my lot of mercier i didn't know where my lot of mercier disappeared i don't have no idea i feel like it got just got feet and it walked out of my house so we're gonna set up with this um i know he's very known for setting so we're going in with setting let's see where he puts it crazy so her makeup artist makeup by ariel well it comes with a cute little spongy thingy i would never use that set my forehead so we're not sitting the forehead okay i was like girl all right um, keep it true to cam and not right. the forehead. however I'm going yeah to i'm gonna set that part too because then we get oily uh-uh he really went in i mean this is white okay here we go Okay. Oh yeah, let me see. Okay. Off after it bakes, and I put a face powder that is of my skin color on top to prevent the flashback. So you add color back in after. Don't okay. just use this on your face. You're looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy. I may not be setting my forehead, but I sure am setting underneath my eyes. Kim was so known for her under eye. This is a lot of powder. I'm just gonna show you what works for me. A lot of powder works for me. Okay, so we are up close and personal, I guess. This is I think we're good. Stasia, mine is trusty yet, but... Okay, so he did his eyebrows in two seconds. You know how YouTubers would do this eyebrow situation or would be like, putting on lashes. One second, we're back. All right, so we went in with eyebrows. I use ColourPop and Spite to fill in this baby's kind of little way. I'm a little scared about this cooking situation because I'm gonna look ashy as hell. But we're trusting, we're trusting. Let's see what he goes on with next. And it has been used because this is one of my favorite palettes. He's using ever. the Master 
Mario palette by Anastasia. I don't own that palette, so but I have those colors. What's Isabel on it? This is the Makeup Forever M six six four, and I'm going to run that through the crease. All right. And this brush right here is one of my favorite brushes. It's the Morphe M five zero four. Okay, hold on. Best if you're a makeup artist. So we're gonna go in. So basically, he's going in with a. A transition color I'm gonna be using race palette and I'm gonna be using control freak right here and we're gonna run that across the crease he has a very you know what Patrick has a really good crease to put on makeup like it's crazy mine is just like simple and it sits there so we're just gonna try to mimic and do the same thing here we go Woo. So much. I'm gonna take a little bit of Makeup Forever's M650 okay. on the same brush, and you see it just blends it up into the highlight. This is actually right. my concealer. If you guys haven't seen my brow routine, definitely check it out. And I noticed with Kim, she always likes to look smashed. So what I'm gonna do is do a winged out effect using the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take the eyeshadow and just bring this. Cute. All right, so he's using like a... Okay, Patrick, you keep on talking way past the eye but I'm doing it so slightly so it mm -hmm. elevates the eye. Next mm -hmm. I'm going to hit the crease with a little bit of Lula. This color is great just to cool it up because Kim Shadow is not too too warm so I feel like adding a cool color will make All it right. more neutral. And using a color like Lula will emulate more of like a real shadow contour effect. Okay. As you can see, one of my favorite colors is Kim. We're going to grab sunset. Take a little bit of this Bye. and apply it on the lid. What is that? Oh, Kim, Kim does not burn. Did he just burn? Okay. Maybe she does. She's human. Patrick, calm down. Dale. I can't. A little bit of life because she's so mad at makeup. All right. How is gonna make this look so natural? I don't get it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this makeup spray and spray it. Apply that it brush? lightly on the lid. What is this? I'm gonna take a little bit of Fifth Avenue and pop it on the center of my lid. So that's like a. Mmm. So he grabbed the color Kim from the Mario palette. I'm going to be grabbing Tiffany mixed with a little bit of fairy tale. He did spray his brush, so here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so here we go with Tiffany. Ooh, Tiffany is cute. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany is hella cute. Okay, keep talking, Patrick. To give it that extra dimension. Do you see how 3D the wood looks now? It's so pretty. Okay, so this he went with this all over the lid. And then in the middle, he went in with like a pop of color, like a gold, so it could add a in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This, we're gonna do that with fairy tale. Let's grab a little fairy tale, my lace palette, and just add it in there. All right. I think we're good. Oh yeah. The lids look popping. What's next? Creamiest eyeliner that I have ever used, and I love it. So creamy eyeliner. This is called the eyes. All right. For that sexy Armenian look. You know Armenian boys are cute AF. They are. I need a fine Armenian one. boys are freaking fine as hell. Maybe I'll find one after I do this look. <laughs> All right. So he's applying uh, a smudgy liner on the lid to create like a liner in there. I'm gonna go in with feline. I don't have the one that he says, and I really love feline for this. All right. What he does. Look, Put it down. This part does not have to be perfect because I'm gonna smudge it out. I'm gonna smudge take a little bit of violetta with a flat angle brush and smudge that liner. Next, I'm gonna so he's my using up to you. All right, so he's using a flat brush. Do I have to? Yeah, I have to. Okay. Um, he's using a flat brush like this, and he's grabbing one of the eyeshadow colors and mixing it and blending it together. That's cute. Ooh. He just has a lid, like it's such a big lid. I don't have a big lid. I have a little lid. Fuck, man. This is how you guys feel when you guys watch our tutorials. It's like, oh, I don't have her skin. I don't have this. This is frustrating. I'm like, I don't have her his lid. He has a lid like all the way up here. I'm like, did I did the liner too thick? Yo, mio. Let me go back with this thing and blending this crap out. Whatever. I can't make lids. It's fine. It's fine. Moving on. What is going to grab? He's putting lashes on. He grabbed some lashes by New or something like that. I don't have those. So I'm grabbing Flitter. Flitter lashes. He grabbed some minky, really wispy, pretty ones. So we're going to go with this one. See what happens. Hopefully it looks the same. We're just going to find out. I have never let this cooking powder like this long underneath my eyes. So I'm very afraid when we get to that part. But you know what? 
We will cross that line when we get there and see what happens. Do you see the difference? Yeah. So as those lashes dry, I'm gonna take my face. Look how dewy my forehead is. I'm going to take my makeup forever face powder and dust off all of oh, this powder. Okay. This powder is a foundation powder, so it's gonna allow mm. setting powders not look so white. Next, I'm gonna take oh. my makeup forever. Powder. Okay, so his whiteness and his face disappear. That's the trick that we're gonna about to do right now. I don't own makeup forever or anything, so let's make this miracle happen. I don't know how. Okay, I think we're. We are casket ready, honey. Legit look like. Like I'm, I'm 40 years old. I have so much makeup. This is crazy. This is insane. Like for me, this is a lot. Okay. So out of my comfort zone right now. Let me get back to Patrick. We wiped it off. We managed to wipe it off. I'm good. What's next? More powder. The meal. You see these wrinkles underneath this eye? The meal. Okay, here we go. Finish powder in a lighter color, in the color ones with ink, and just pat this under my, my powder. Hand. And I'm using a tulip brush. All right. I've had this brush for years. Okay. This is one of my newest favorite brushes. This is the Mac One. So you put a more powder underneath the eye. Um, we're gonna do the same. <gasps> Why not? Um, we're gonna use Studio Fix NC43 just to line it underneath the eyes. Oh my gosh, I have never seen my under eye look like this before. Patrick, get the wasses. How do you do this? How do you look so flawless? I don't understand. All right, so for contouring, I'm gonna use, what do I use for? He used Give Me Sun. He used Give Me Sun for contouring. I don't have Give Me Sun. I'm gonna be using Deep Dark right here, almost hitting pan. One of my favorite things ever. Okay, this is gonna destroy it. And he used this brush by MAC, the 140S. I've never used it, so here we go. First time for everything, why not? And I don't have a cheekbone, so. That just goes to show I did have cheekbones, but it disappeared because I gained weight. I have contoured and bronzed my face to the best of my ability. I'm gonna take my give me, okay. take my give me sun again. And I'm give gonna me sun for the nose. Okay. Next to brighten under my eyes, I'm gonna take the Charlotte more powder brush, flawless finish powder in color number two. Okay. Just use this on. He's using more powder underneath the eyes to brighten it more. Give me how many powder that we need. I never contour my nose, but we contouring today, honey. Okay, where you at, Patrick? Where you at? Come back, come back to the scene. Here my eyes, just to add some pop. She is so bright under the eyes. Not nowadays, but this is paying homage to her back then. I'm talking about her like she did. Yeah. Now for blush, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Pro Artist Palette. This I'm is hello? so pigmented. Okay. I'm going to take this color. What do you have for blush? Here to he, put a pink, he put a pink blush. This dark shade and a little bit of I'm gonna grab this on my NARS so right here. So Okay, wait a minute. You're on ice. I'm still on cheeks. Wait a minute. I'm grabbing the pink. Okay. Okay, Patrick, talk to me. What's Over next? Here, bomb, my in the so we're gonna smoke out the bottom? Drink. Okay. Smoke out the bottom. And smoke right under my lash line. All right. So next, I'm gonna take some extended clay and apply the. So he smoked out underneath. I haven't smoked out. Hold on. Give me my time. Wait a minute. Smoke out the bottom. All right. We smoked out the bottom. Oh, that went inside of my eye like a lot. Talk to me, Patrick. What's next? I think it's mascara. This is the standard best. place. I'm gonna take I love this mascara. Highlighter. Okay, we need highlight. Hold on, let me let me put mascara on. Hold up, I I, I I catch up with you. Hold on. Um, I love standard play too because it's little and I bent it and this gets like right in there. These lashes are so pretty. I don't even know the name of them because they're like in a reusable box from Flutter, but they're really, really pretty. All right, Patrick, talk to me. What are we doing now? Highlight. With my Anastasia highlighting brush. Okay, this we have that. So One of my favorite brushes. Pretty. All on right. Top of my so, I don't have that. Also, I wonder why people put highlight here. I, I, I oh, this eyelash is coming out. It's fine. I'm just doing this tutorial that I'm taking those off. Um, like, why do they put highlight here? In person, you gotta see that little dot in there, you know? But we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Here, and I'm like, you know? I don't do that, but we're gonna see. I might like it, I might like it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this highlight. This is from NARS, the Veil palette. Comes with the blush, a little bronzer that don't match my skin. Um, it might be a cute blush, though. And my Anastasia brush. I love the Anastasia brush. Is that bringing some highlight to my life or no? No, no, no. 
What else did he put on? I'm gonna take my steel up bronze. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Golden. Yeah. Yes, do you see it right Okay, let's see. Let me see me so give me a yes. Oh, I'm gonna take spice by Matt. Oh, there it is. And last but not least for the outfit. Wait, I'm not in lips yet. Hold on. I'm still dealing with the highlight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is one of my favorite highlights. Oh my gosh, from Stila. Love. Oh yeah, that gave me the little pop pop in there. That's a lot of highlight though with the, a lot of texture. Like I could see a lot of texture on my face. Maybe your camera's not picking it up, but in real life I'm seeing it. I'm like, girl, you could sweat whatever this makeup not. That's why his makeup don't come off. Cause he's layers so much. Like his makeup is very like theater, thick on, like your makeup is not going anywhere. That's why his makeup stays on all day. My makeup be melting off like, hi, how are you? Wait, did he highlight button nose? I don't think that he did that. <sighs> no button nose? Okay, let me see where you at. Oh no, he did. He did, but he did off camera. So, we're gonna put a lot of little texture, but we do have cute highlight. Ooh, 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 in there. Um, what do we have for the lips? I'll take this. KKW, Kim Kardashian West, the Kylie Cosmetics collab, and the color Kimmy. Oh, and I have those. The lips. Oh, I have those. Like this is, this is so he used Spice and then um, Kimmy by Kim, the darkest color from the thing, the one that I liked. So let's line those lips with um, Spice. Oh, Spice lip liner. I forgot how pretty you were. So now we're going to grab Kimmy by the uh, Kylie and her collaboration. This is one of the colors that I did like. The only one that looked pretty on me. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, this is cute. Do we look like Kim yet? <laughs> yeah, just a little in there. Ooh, my face looks cute. But I am cake on though, guys. I'm very, I'm very cake on. If you thought cake on was like, I am cake to the everything right now. Oh, I forgot to put a highlight on my forehead like everybody else. Hold on. Hold up. So they do, you click, click, and you go here. Did I do that? Did that? It looks like, okay, I see like what they, did they do it on the other side of the thing? Or just in one side? Well, if it's one side, it's supposed to do it in both, no? Okay, we apply highlight. Let's see how we look like. All right. So here is my wig. I have my wig on already. Other than why not keep? I love this wig so this much. Wig. So this is the finished look. I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. All right. All right, everyone. This so he's finished and we're finished. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the situation and I'll be right back. I have to spray myself with something though because my face feels so tight. So let me just spray it myself and then I go fix my wig. Okay. He doesn't spray his face. I thought that he did. Oh, I feel like I, oh my gosh, this was like a fresh air. A little more. So here we are at the end. Don't clown me, my hair's not put good. It's already two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> this hairline is not popping. We're just trying to, my nose is just, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay. I love it. I have to admit, I freaking love it. Now I know why his makeup be lasting hella long when he goes like to events and I see him and I'm like, how's your makeup look so flawless? Because he cakes it so much and it stays on. So I do like it. At first, it's com it was completely out of my comfort zone. And that's the reason why I picked Patrick because this is not my regular. I'm very like, I'm very natural compared to this. But you know, sometimes, why not? I don't recommend this every day though because your pores might be screaming for help. But for special occasions, listen, throw it on. It doesn't hurt nobody and your makeup is gonna stay. Put it in there. I freaking love my eyes. The lips, the lip concussion. I never thought of use um the Kimi one. This one right here is so pretty. Wait, let me give you slow-mo, hold on. We done with the slow-mo. Um, but I love it. I freaking, my face looks bomb. I am cake on though, but I like it. I love doing this. This took me out of my comfort zone to another level. Very challenging because I normally don't do this, but the outcome, honey, listen, I'm looking like a Panamanian Kim Kardashian. Yes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video the way that I enjoy recreating it for you guys. Remember to comment below and let me know what you guys think and who should I recreate next or should I stop this and just make tutorials for you guys? Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hello, be part of the family. More fun things is coming here and we're gonna get it popping. 
Okay, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this kind of videos. And uh, yeah, this is where we close down and let go. Ciao. Besitos. <laughs>